Hello, welcome back. Today, that Skoda is going to get a waxing and we're going to do something with the trim. And what I'm going to use is somebody suggested using this Maguire's uh, paste wax, so I'm going to put that on it. I'm going to put it on with this, like a microfiber pad, cloth around windows, and then I'm going to use this bumper and trim gel. It's auto glim bumper and trim gel, gel and have a do at uh, the black trim work. So we'll see how it goes. Well, that's this side done. Let's just leave it till it goes to a fine haze. So I'll leave it a will and I'll crack on and do a bit more. Right, it's got its wax on. I'm just going to leave that to dry now and then I'll polish it off and hopefully that'll help prevent it from fading as fast. It will fade again and it will want doing again um, but hopefully I might have slowed it down a little bit. That's all dried on now so it's elbow grease and polish it off and see what it looks like. So it's now got its wax on. How's it all turned out? I think that's another improvement on that paint job. If you remember what it was like when Ubnut got it, Ian, it absolutely faded and absolutely gopping. So that's looking a lot better now. So hopefully, with that wax on it, um, it will slow down any future fading with a bit of luck because I'm thoroughly fed up with waxing now and polishing it all off I don't think that's turned out too bad again you can actually see a caravan shining through in that paint now <laughs> magic now to sort that dodgy old black trim out so I've been out and bought this Autoglim bumper and trim gel it says it's good for reviving colour on plastic, vinyl and rubber and also you can apply it with a cloth or a small paintbrush on awkward areas and I've looked inside and it's a clear gel so let's get on with it
about halfway in now. Took me about half an hour, and I think this trim's coming up pretty good. Especially these door trims, they were absolutely terrible. Around the windows, and, and this big strip across here, this has all had a good do. I've come across this back bumper a little way just to let, see a comparison of before and after. Before, after. This isn't looking bad at all. When you consider, if you look at this strip, across this windry, it's a right mess. All the way around. I've done the front one. And that looks a hell of a sight better. So, compare it to the other side, which I've not done yet. So the trim on the other side looks pretty much like this does on this side. Pretty monkey down these door strips. So what I'll do, I'll crack on and get back to you in a little while. Especially when you consider what it looked like when Ian at Hubnut got it from uh, London, it looked pretty bad. What my intention was, was when I got this little car, was to see I could sort that paintwork out. So you remember we used that three, that three in one uh, teacup colour restorer because it was red and also polish. It's also had a never had a right good waxing, and I really don't think that's turned out bad at all. Now some of you was asking about the transit um, and some of you said you'd be interested in seeing the odd video on that uh, yeah I'll do one of them no problem in a bit um, but for now uh, for you that know this car and know that it came off Hubnut and that this pesky wiper packed up and he mucked about with it and to change it it was no good I'm going to get around to sorting that out I'm going to source myself um, a new motor and also same again, there's a right rattling down this side somewhere, it's not bad but it does need sorting. I suspected it was the rack, but it isn't the rack, it's something to do I think with the mechanisms in the door. So I'm going to make a video on sorting that out and that wiper. Um, and of course, like I said, we'll do a bit of something about the transit. Um, but my, I mainly use YouTube because I buy and sell caravans, so what I'm saying to you is, every time you see one come up, Please don't assume it's going to be about the Skoda or the Transit because I use uh, eBay, uh, sorry I use YouTube, I make my videos of the caravans externally, internally etc etc and then um, I put them on my YouTube channel so I can get the codes, the, the share codes to put in advertising. So if you see a lot of them please don't feel despondent about the Skoda and the Transit because there will be more to come. Well, oh, and also, I don't know if any of you are going up to the second Hubnut Social up in Lake District on this coming Sunday, 14th. Um, I went to the first one with the Transit, but I'm going to take this score up to the second one. So hopefully, we might see each other there. Bye for now. Oh, just before we go, I'm going to have a do at trying to sort this trim out inside. It's all gone a bit faded, the one thing and another. So any advice anybody's got, about what to use on it that will be much later appreciated okay thanks bye for now